Hey guys, today I introduce high protein and healthy dish Chicken Namban Chicken Namban is a dish where chicken is fried and then coated with a sauce made of soy vinegar sauce and tartar sauce Surprisingly, it's a highly popular dish in Japan as well It's a protein rich dish and the moist and tender chicken is surprisingly outstanding I have been introducing balanced cooking tips so be sure to watch until the end so let's make it together introduce ingredients chicken pickle onion eggs mayonnaise vinegar sugar flour and soy sauce Let's make super healthy and delicious chicken number! First, let's boil the eggs. Gently place the eggs into the boiling water. And let them boil for 10 minutes. Next is preparing the tartar sauce. To enjoy freshly made chicken number, let's prepare the tartar sauce first. Let's chop the onion. Make vertical cuts along the fibers. Be careful not to cut off the top part. Next, make the horizontal cuts. Finally, make vertical cuts to create the finely diced onions. Avoid overcutting to retain the flavor of the onion. If you have slightly larger onions, chop them into slightly smaller pieces. Once you have 1 cm square onions, it's okay. Then, soak the chopped onion in the water for 2-3 to three minutes. While onions can be pungency, soaking them in the water helps reduce their pungency. Next, let's prepare the pickles. Cut them in half vertically. Then, cut them again vertically. Like the onions, cut them into 1 cm width, creating 1 cm square pickles. If you are not a fan of pickles, you can skip this step. However, pickles are the accent of flavor, making the tartar sauce even more delicious. Wipe off the moisture from the onion that was exposed to the water. And add the pickle you cut earlier. Next, add the boiled eggs and 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar and a little pepper to taste. Then, use a spoon to crush the boiled eggs. Once the boiled eggs are roughly 1 cm square, mix everything together well. Once everything is mixed, the tartar sauce is ready! Next, let's prepare the soy vinegar sauce. Add 3 tablespoons of vinegar to the container. Then, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Mix well at this point. Once everything is well mixed, the soy vinegar sauce is ready! Let's start by preparing the chicken. First, remove any excess parts such as tendons or blood clots from the chicken. Then, make cut the grooves of chicken, dividing it into the three parts. Next, cut it into bite-sized pieces to ensure uniformity inside. About 10 cm squares should be just right. It might seem a bit rush, but it will shrink slightly when cooked, so 10 cm squares are ideal. Next, 
Now let's introduce the most crucial point. Cover it with plastic wrap and pound the chicken with a hard object like bottle. This helps break the fiber of the chicken, preventing it from becoming tough due to the heat. It also ensures uniform thickness, allowing for even cooking time. Next, let's prepare the coating. Spread the flour in the container and coat the chicken with it. Since the chicken has indentation and gaps, make sure to evenly coat it with flour. Then, shake off any excess to achieve just light coating. Repeat this process for all the chicken pieces. Now let's prepare the coating with eggs. Crack the eggs and mix them well. Mix until there are no clumps of egg white. Now that everything is ready, let's move on to the final step of chicken number. First, heat about 3 tablespoons of oil in the frying pan over medium heat. Wait until the oil is hot. If the egg solidify immediately when it's dropped, it, it's sign that the oil is hot enough. Now that oil is hot, let's fry the chicken. Coat the chicken in the eggs and then place it in the frying pan. Make sure to place the skin side down. Repeat this process quickly for all the chicken pieces. Remember the order in which you place them so that they are cooked evenly. Once all the chicken pieces are in, Ensure they are not sticking together and wait for 3 minutes without moving them. After 3 minutes, flip them over. They should have a nice color. Wait for another 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, press them over again. If they are nice browned, they are done. Perfect! Now let's turn off the heat. Before adding soy vinegar sauce, since they are excess oil, let's remove it with the kitchen paper. Once most of it is removed, it's good to go. Then, Add the soy vinegar sauce prepared area directly to the chicken. While gently heating over low heat, mix the chicken with the sauce. Turn them over occasionally and pour the sauce from the bottom over the top. After mixing about 1 minute, it's ready! Plate it up and pour the remaining soy vinegar sauce over the top. Finally, add the tartar sauce prepared area on top. Now let's enjoy chicken naman with plenty of tartar sauce. 
the sweet soy vinegar and tartar sauce complement each other perfectly. It's easy to make, so be sure to give it a try! Thank you for watching until the end! I've introduced Japanese cuisine. Please subscribe this channel so you don't miss it. See you next time.